believe me, a lot of times these large companies are hiring you not because they want to make you work, it's because they want to make sure that, Bhaiya, you know, at least none of my competitors are here. Imagine, uh, you know, there's a story of how Zuckerberg could have got acquired by Yahoo, by Google, and all these guys because, you know, they did not take these guys seriously, and today we know what has happened because of Facebook in terms of engagement. You know, more people are spending time on Facebook than any other, in fact, all of the other online platforms put together. So, but what is Facebook's biggest worry do you know? They are not worried about other people, they are worried that who is this next kid here who would come with another idea which will wipe Facebook away. Because that's exactly what happened to the other companies. And the smartest way to do that is ki bhaiya, in sab ko leke, pizza khelao, unko achche hai, apne campus me rakho, and unko zoom me bana, you know, unko guma. So, that's literally what's happening and it's not a wrong strategy and I'm sure some of these kids or some of the people there do innovate and do come up with things. But clearly, this is true for the 98% or 99.5%. I'm not talking about the 0.5% which I am really trying to address here. So the idea is forget me, forget anybody else. If you really want to, and believe me, this is the right opportunity. You are very lucky to be born in this era, in this times where everything is taken off. Whether it is mobile internet, whether it is uh, uh, payments, whether it is infrastructure, forget all of that. Modi is in power, we have achhe I mean, <laughs> yeah. you can't beat that, right? Because previously you could say, Arey, our government kuch karne rahe, any over. Now so you can't even blame the government for anything. Right? It's amazing that how, I don't know the reality, but at least the perception is so good about India and what we can do, that you are all sitting on a gold mine. But of course, I don't want you to do this. Please take up these jobs which you are going to get offered because Clearly, I don't want you to be coming and competing with me in any <laughs> So, go ahead and take those offers and, and we'll continue with our next slide. So, do you deserve any points for this answer? Tell me, thank you. Okay, I'll give you two points. So, what's the score? 11 5. Okay, no, they got two points. So, 11 5. You okay. can still catch up. Um, sorry. So, the next thing is about me. <laughs> uh, how many of you have a life? Okay, what do you mean by having a life? You say I have a life. Hmm? So what is your what do you mean by you have a life? Uh, spend have some leisure time, leave work apart, enjoy a life, okay. do what you feel like. Okay, that's your definition of getting a life. What about you? Uh, I don't like really have a life right So you didn't put your hands up somewhere? Okay. But you can also answer the question. I think it means like when you have control over your life, you are the one who's controlling it. Nobody else. Yeah. Just when you wake up in the morning and your reaction is all about shit, I have to go and live my life. Or you're excited to wake up. Okay. So you're looking forward to your day rather than, oh God, this idiot who's in the body. Yeah. Yeah. So when do you actually do something? <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel it as something different because like I don't feel something has to be a leisure time where I enjoy. I enjoy it. Enjoy every moment. It's going to come only once. So why does it have to be a holiday? So you say that you only enjoy the holiday. Okay, holiday is supposed to be a uh, like regular uh, thing that on a holiday you basically enjoy. Just use the term holiday, but what I meant was. Okay. Anybody else wants to attend this answer for five points? Oh, yeah. Having a positive. Uh, like having a positive perspective, uh, not being stuck with the daily problems or not having a very narrow mentality, but having a positive outlook okay. towards the future. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, let me give you a dish. So, so, let me give you a simpler example of what I am. You attempt to answer every question. So how did you score in your IIT I am a PhD Oh God, that's why. <laughs> no wonder you are different. No, good, good spirit. Yeah, sorry. So, yeah. so like half of your life you are living like parents are expecting something you are living by those expectations and the later half by other family commitments. So getting a life which you are throughout as you want. Yeah. Like, what so, so, you want. yeah, sorry.
So let me give you a simple explanation of what, is, what do I mean by getting a life. Getting a life is figuring out a way that people pay you for pursuing your hobbies. For doing something you do for free, for fun. So it is not necessarily a holiday. It is really about imagine. So what do you, what do you love doing? Excuse me, I can get your name, sorry. Okay. Uh, Sneha, what do you love doing? Excuse me. I am relish researching, but when that no, deadline no. happens. You can't relish researching. <laughs> Anything apart from me. What is your hobby? You can't say researching is my hobby. What's your hobby? So I really thought how cool it would be if I could actually create another business 
where are people going to pay me to do all of that? So how is that idea? If people pay you to run, to walk, to exercise, uh, to eat healthy and put everything together. And that's how I started working on my next startup with a simple insight that what I did to myself using technology and motivation, how can I create a product which can do that for the entire world? So the vision and the passion behind my next startup, which is called Goki, was how can I make people the force? And the whole idea is if you look at the Goki, our entire brand message, it says be the force. So we are not a company, we are a movement. So Goki is all about trying to help people motivate them from within on what can they do to change their life and how can they become a force of good, how can you do good by being fit yourself. So that was the big thing. And what we did in Goki was we completely turned the business model on its head. So there was, soon Apple is going to announce that I watch and everybody will go mad. There's Google, there is Jawbone, there is Hajar companies in the variable technology space as you know. They're all trying to say you buy this watch, buy this band, buy this ring, buy this, buy that. The reality is, if you will buy it, you will just shove it out, it won't work. It's very simple because just data is of no use. But what are you know, we are all smart people here already. So you know what is more important than data. It is the analysis and the actionable insights of this data. And the reality is average people are not able to do this on their own. You know, they really need help when it comes to data and insights. The second thing is people need motivation. One of the biggest challenges in fitness and people trying to change is their lack of motivation. So clearly when you are at IIT, you have a motivation ki I am going to get a big job, so let me study more, let me review before the exams and so on. But when you are trying to do fitness, nobody is telling you kya hai, kya ho gaya, to make a chaar gara, or to khaya, or nobody is like, you are expected to live a unfit life when you are in college. In fact, that's what people brag about when you are in hostels or whatever else. So the idea was, how can we take data from a device, but make it completely actionable by pairing the data with real humans. So Goki is not a hardware. In fact, uh, we give the hardware for free. You can go to goki.com, G-O-Q-I-I, and you can see the hardware we have. So this is a fitness band, like any other fitness band. And for the techno geeks out here, it uses TI chipset, which does accelerometer, and it has all kinds of uh, PAE 4.0 and all of that. So it is in state-of-the-art technology. But the disruption of our model is we are giving this for free. We are saying there is no value in buying a wearable device. This is just a source of data. What is of value is this data going to a qualified coach who is a fitness nutrition expert who looks at the data and then interacts with you. So the model from being selling hardware, our model is a services model which is a subscription model. So we have a six month subscription and a one year subscription. So the whole idea was, to put it simply, most people donate their money every year to this place called the gym. How many of you have done that? Donated money to the gym? All of us, at some point of time. The reason I call it donated money to the gym because you never go there. It is like the temple we go every year and put money within Diwali or whatever festival and never go there again. So gym has literally become that sacred place which we visit few times a year and every time we go we have to put a lot of money in. However, reimagine this world where the world is a gym. You no longer are restricted to exercise in front of a stupid treadmill or lift weights like you know, uh, like crazy people and uh, wear weird dresses. But if you could be told that exercise is going up and down the stairway five times or exercise is not taking a lift but walking up or walking down and you know since you are at IIT you have so much opportunity to walk around the campus. There is so much opportunity to do body weight exercises, cross the Raja things where you don't need a single piece of equipment to exercise. So the idea was how can that be integrated into your daily life and a coach available to you with your phone 24-7. So you could pretty much chat with your coach right now and say, hey, what do I do? Tell me, I'm here. So we flipped the model on its head. But the most important part of our model is not this. The most important part of our model was how do we make the world
in a better place. And to do that, we convert your steps to what we call karma points. So karma points are what we call virtual currency for good. So I'm sure you all played Counter Strike and AD and so who played Subway Surf? Hey, has anybody played Flappy Boats? What's your score? In Flappy Boats, high score. Sorry? 109. Flappy Boats, high score. Sorry? 5. 154. 154. So I'll give you my 6 year old son, 251. I have a screenshot. <laughs> so you're very bad at that. But coming back to uh, the whole idea that we all get motivated with games, with points, and what we do and buy virtual currency. So the idea of Doki is how can we use these points to donate to charity? So the idea is so which game are you playing? Hello? Which game is you on? Which game are you playing? Chinese stands for 
the force. The force. So Gokhi is about helping people become the force. Uh, the other story about Gokhi is if you look at the Gokhi logo, you uh, probably look at our website and so on. The G O Q I I also has a story. So G actually over here is a symbol of U turn, which is be ready for change. So this is a term. The minus is to remove negativity. The plus is to add the positivity. And the two I's stand for look beyond yourself, means help others. So not only does the name have a meaning, even the logo has an entire meaning. So we spent a lot of time on designing and telling the story. Because as I said, the story is more important than the product. <laughs> and that is the story we are doing. So it was actually a, quite a good dumb question. So we need to be doing one of those t-shirts. You will fit in a small size? <laughs> no, don't worry. We only have Excel size here because we are hoping that we will become smaller later. So I will come down and get a t-shirt from it. I will be faster. Who's next? Okay. I have one dumb and one intelligent. No, you can't ask two questions at the same time. It will be too much for your brain. Yes. Dumb and intelligent. You want one intelligent. Okay. Hey, what, if it is not intelligent, then you have to tell me. Uh, so, uh, just uh, by the way, there's more than around three or four people in this class who are co-founders of startups. So that's why I said zero point nine nine point nine nine percent. That's so. not that your number is wrong for this class. Okay, I have a bad math, so I mean, I can go I mean, no doubt. So I meant majority and minority. Okay, so when I say ninety nine point nine nine percent is majority and minority, I'm bad at math, so. Is this a smart or a dumb question? The question is not oh, oh, question is not dumb. That's not a okay. question. Okay. Uh, my question is pertinent to what uh, my company is doing. Like presently, uh, we're seeing like this uh, earlier, like in the late nineties, that like you were talking. There was like a PC revolution, and all these startups came up. Presently, what we're experiencing is uh, many startups around the app revolution. Do you think? that there's going to be like some sort of bubble burst over here where like quite simply people's phones are just flooded with so many apps that beyond the point they're like no more apps and there's some app that removes all the other apps. So, so let me tell you a very interesting insight which I have in the end of the video. Today if we talk about creating any app on the PC anymore, PC is no longer a platform more we will develop for. Everybody is talking about development of mobile. In the next five years, mobile will disappear as a platform. That is what is going to happen. Because of miniaturization of technology, your glasses, your implant of chip, your watch, your earring, uh, every, your entire body is going to become a device. So I would say that forget about apps being overcrowded, we have to start thinking of an era. So I'm talking about five, five years out, I'm not talking about today or tomorrow. In the next five years, we will be not discussing about apps on your mobile phone, but we will be discussing virtual reality apps, you know, Facebook bought uh, Oculus, uh, which is the entire VR. We're talking about apps which are going to work on top of iWatch. We're talking we're going to talk about all kinds of crazy things which is going to happen to the human body. So we are going to become cyborgs, if you put it. There will be an answer. So if I'm a runner, I can actually buy an implant which is going to make my, uh, some of my calf muscles get less strain which can improve my running performance. Already people are researching on it. So there will be applications, you could pretty much do what Matrix does, where you could load, I want to learn this. So they are already talking about the pill which you eat and you can learn a language. So, the simple thing is, if you tell something and people say this is stupid, then you are on the right track. If people say, hey, what sense man are you? Then you are already too late. So that is the parameter. So I don't know if I answered your question. I mean, we will still give you a t-shirt for asking that question. That's, that's yours. Hey, you should be asking me a question. Come on, you are a PhD. I will answer the question. Please. Question? Yeah, so I will ask you a question. Yeah. Are you t-shirt or anything? Okay. Very next. Category is very dumb question. Okay, dumb question. You said that getting a life means uh, you you get paid for uh, doing uh, your hobbies. So most of us like sleeping, love sleeping. So how can we get paid? So by that's the next business idea, man. You have to think of something that people pay. <laughs> no, actually, I I thought a lot. Uh, 
So I am interested in this way, starting to see this as a night dogs on a sleeping, like a little orb which you put on the bed, which measures how much you sleep. So there is a recent case where you got funded 16 million dollars, we will have got a name, it's called Orb. This is a little device, like a chota sada, a round device, and you keep it on the side of your bed and it calculates your sleep. So imagine if you would have thought of that and you could have been the chief tester of your own device. <laughs> and you could have kept testing how, how much, how well you sleep and then you could have given lectures on how to sleep and given your own case study that I have been sleeping for so long. So, by the way, that idea is already good, but maybe you could say I would do sleeping in virtual reality. Or since you are an IIT, you can tell other people how to sleep. So there are good ideas of IIT, which don't get enough sleep, right? But I think it's a good question. You do deserve, deserve a t-shirt. <laughs> Anybody else? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think it's an intelligent question. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not sure, then it doesn't qualify as an intelligent question. Yes, sir. Uh, so basically, uh, you love playing games, and obviously, you founded the company. So, what exactly happened with Disney? And uh, basically, I think I can learn something here from probably. What do you think happened with Disney? Uh, I'm not sure, but I think, uh, like, down the lane, you made some mistakes, and probably we could learn something. What is your guess what happened? Uh, I'm not sure about the terminology, but I've heard something like a hostile takeover or something. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Anybody else wants to guess why do you think we sold to Disney?